We've been members of St. John's for 30 years this year. Talk a little bit about this church and what it meant to Christy, what it means to your family. Um, when we moved here in 90, 1993, this is the parish that we had joined. Christy and her sisters were involved with the youth activities of the church. Christy's spirituality was something that you may not know just on first meeting of her, but it was always there. And this is where Christy spent her last morning that she was alive. She had brought the girls here for mass and when she was finished, Father Andrew greets the parishioners as they're leaving. And up until that morning, Jim was the one that he greeted. He would say, good morning, Jim, as we followed Jim out. But that morning, he greeted Christy, and he said, good morning, Christy. And she was so excited because that really validated that she was an adult, that she had her two children, and that she was now an independent person, and she was extremely proud to have had Father Andy greet her by name as she was leaving. And that is an awesome thing to know on her last morning, because by that time the next day, she was gone. He was, he was giving her last rites. I had been trying to figure out what's the cause. And I was the only one who was trying to think of a natural consequences. Everyone else had already voided out all of the medical reasons and had gone to Jason had done it. This is not accident. He did this. We had to then figure out with the funeral planning, how were we going to get this information to the police without the other side of the family knowing. My mom met with Jason and his mother at the funeral home. The arrangements were made there. The viewing was on Friday. Jason had chosen to have a rosary and have the priests there at the funeral home. My interactions with him were based on me just observing. I ended up getting to a point where I was mute around him just because I had my eyes and ears open to everything going on. I walked up to him and he was talking to my niece. He was shoving tissues in her pockets and repeating the words, this is the last time you'll ever see your mama again. I interpreted it as him trying to provoke her tears so that you weren't as aware of his lack of emotion. To me, it looked very calculating. 